with that being said, other than being frazzled, how does it feel to have your film premiering tonight and to have it premiered at Slam Dance? It's really cool. Um, it's really cool, especially because I didn't expect for, um, you know, I think there was like a huge struggle on getting this film viewed by people, you know, just because it was coming from a director who's, who's this was his first time, you know, putting together and, and creating like a feature film. Um, so it's beautiful to be able to be here. I'm really excited to see it. I saw an earlier cut, but I haven't seen the full thing, so. Okay. So you, did you go to Utah or you didn't get a chance no, to? I didn't, I didn't get a chance to Utah. I had to work on something else, unfortunately. I would have loved to go, though. At least you were working. That's were really there? good. No, my boss was there, though. She was at um, the other one, Sundance. <laughs> But yeah, so for you, like, what was this filmmaking process like? What were some of your mo favorite moments on set? Um, the filmmaking process was awesome. It was beautiful. It was like I'd, I was um, I had been on like productions before that were maybe more just had bigger budgets and whatnot. But this was by far the the most easy uh, group of people to work with. Um, a lot of a lot of really talented people. The filming process was um, was great. It was very natural. There wasn't too much preparation. Um, and then what was the second half of that question? Favorite parts. Yes. Um, the favorite parts were my intimate scenes because those were just like. Have, have you seen the film? No, I'm sorry. Oh, amazing. Well, you'll see. I get I get down. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> That's really cool. For you, like, what was it like? I've always wanted to ask people, what is it like in those scenes? Like, how do you, as an actor? take us through that because I think we're all curious about it yeah I think you know the tough part is honestly like immersing yourself in it without going I mean that you can't I feel like if you're gonna do a scene like that honestly you can't have any barriers and you know after we did some of the emotional intimate scenes like you know I definitely felt it felt real you know like the days leading after it's not something that you're just like oh, okay cool like you know that was extremely emotional and I'm able to just dip out that never happened it was like okay that was a real thing and I felt real things in that moment so, yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. It's also not easy always, but... Yeah. So, like, what's life after it like? So, I've, I've heard of actors that just get so caught up in a role that they just can't break away from it. So, how do you recover? Thankfully, that's not me in this, just because, um, beautiful role, but I was, you know, it was like a long, a really nice long process, and to be able to finish it was, like, you know, great. Um, I, um, I don't really... I act quite sparsely now um, when I'm not producing and composing music, which is what I mainly do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I hope that answered you. I feel like I didn't fully answer the question. No, you did. You did. Where can we find your music? Tell us about that. Man, okay. All right. So um, I don't put out my own music, but I produce for other people. There's a wonderful artist I work with named Kelsey Liu, um, uh, an artist named King Princess. Um, there's just I can't I can't speak about some other stuff, but there's there's some you know there's you will see more. <laughs> okay, we'll look up those two artists. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Aww. I'm excited to see it. I've heard good things. So is this your first time seeing the film? This is all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces, but I haven't sat and watched it. So we shall see. <laughs> what was it? So I guess you were in Utah at Slap Dance. So what's it like for you to have known that the film that you were part of screened there? That's amazing. It, it's so cool. And you know, when you're starting in acting, you do so many projects that no one ever sees. And, and you love them just as much. But to have one that someone else can see and love as much as you do, is it's so fulfilling and so cool. <laughs> and can you take us through your process as an actress? Like, take, take us through how do you prepare for the role? How do you even select a role? Yeah, well, I feel like for me, it's all about mixing it up. I spent a long time playing the same characters, and this character is so different from that. She's a little wild, and you're not always sure what she's going to do and how she feels about things. So I was so interested in that. And I think when I was prepping for it, it was mostly trying to understand this kind of lifestyle and how that would affect you as a person. And especially in love and Rome, all of those kinds of things, we live it so differently in our world. So that's mostly what I thought about and what was important to me. How did you prepare? Like, did you? I, I know I spoke to Alec, and he was saying he actually visited a commune. So, what did you do to prepare for this? 
I mostly tried to connect with the people that I was working with. I don't I didn't know too much about communes, but I knew about how important family was to them that you didn't have to be blood to be family. So to me it was all about connecting to the people that I was supposed to be close with. So we spent a lot of time together. I roomed with Piper and we like played music together, had wine, had girls nights. So that was that was very fun. Are you guys still close as a, as, a, as a group? Like, do you still feel connected to the rest of the cast? I don't get to see them very often. So many people are in different places. Piper's in New York. If I was in New York, I would be all over that girl. She would not be able to get rid of me. But, yeah, I, I see them here and there. It's not as much as I would like to, though. What's next for you? I've done quite a bit since then. Um, I've done some movies that will come out this year. I um, was on a Netflix show called Chambers, which is also coming out this year. I've done a couple shorts, so hopefully you'll see more of me in the next year. Awesome. Well, congratulations. This is a big deal. I'm excited to see the film. Like, you're, you were at Slam Dance. That's legit. So, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.